purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to convert a 2D drawing into a solid model. I realize that there is always more than one way of drawing anything, and my methods may seem a bit unusual, but they have worked for me for the past 20 years, so please stay tuned. What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is to erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space and all that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get back into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports so that there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right hand side. For the purpose of this tutorial I will assume that you know how to make the 2D drawing on the left. What I have done is to make a copy of the detailed drawing and placed it in the viewport on the right hand side without dimensions. Also, I put this new copy on the layer solid and gave the solid layer the color red. And then, as you can see, I changed the color of the copies to red. And I will now erase all unnecessary lines. At this point, I must make a decision as to whether I want to trace over the line with a polyline or if I use the polyline edit to make all the lines one. I think perhaps this time I'll simply trace over the lines with, and make one continuous polyline. Now, using AutoCAD's Revolve command, we'll select the object and revolve it around this axis. Our next task will be to extrude the two circles, the two holes, and we'll move into the southeast isometric view and extrude the two holes. I used a distance of three. It's not that important how long you make them so long as they, when rotated, will protrude through the flange. And now I'll use AutoCAD's 3D Rotate command to rotate the two cylinders just created. I'll rotate the cylinders in the direction of green axis and I'll type minus 90. Also, I forgot to rotate the other one as well. And then, of course, with ortho on, all I have to do is move the two cylinders into the flange and then subtract them from the flange. And then, once again, I'll erase unnecessary lines and bring the detailed drawing and solid together by merging them into one viewport. Also, I switch back to the top or plan view.
Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to Southeast Isometric View, and then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model, and then to get back to paper space, double click outside the viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set at different scales. You can set the scale of the larger viewport by selecting it and then going to the Properties icon, going down to under Miscellaneous Standard Scale and set any scale that you want. Once the scale is set, you can double click inside the viewport and then pan so as to hide the solid model. And then of course double click outside the viewport to get back to paper space. Finally, if we don't want the rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want me to make more, please comment as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.